So this is a um, butcher block table. I actually have it covered in craft like butcher paper um, because this is where I would do like mixed media artwork, painting and that kind of stuff so it doesn't mess up my butcher block. Um, and so it is from Ikea. I believe it's similar to the ones, uh, it's similar to what Allie Edwards has um, in her office. These are random storage things back here that I don't need access to behind because um, it's like open on this side for a stool. It's meant for like a kitchen island. And then this is all shelf storage, but the shelf storage is more important to me than the sitting area because I don't sit up here. Um, but this is where I currently take all of my like walkthrough videos for the most part and like product photography or layout photography. So I've just got my lights set up all the time, my tripod there. Um, and then what we've got down here are this whole shelf is die cutting. So, um, like big Sizzix dies, like the big thick ones. These are all cutting pads and blocks for this big shot. And then these are all embossing folders and like wire die or metal dies, um, in these envelopes. Container from Ikea, container from Target many, many moons ago. This container for these guys is actually just a napkin holder. Um, it's like adjustable. So I like using that because, I don't know, that's big and bulky. Down here is some random stuff. I'm not even sure what's in those boxes, but they're old messy box kit boxes. These are old making memories um, foam stamps in these great things that we got in the Target dollar bin. I remember these being like a really big thing back in the two peas days. Um, and people like going crazy for these containers because they were perfect for storing these guys. So yep, a couple of alphabet stamps. They're great for mixed media and things like that. This bin is all mostly adhesives. Um, so like hot glue, um, this is like stamp cleaner, uh, tacky glue, spray adhesive, um, yeah, some glue dots, another glue gun. I don't know why I need to. Uh, <laughs> all right, camera, and then this is extra tape runner adhesive and extra rolls of scotch tape. This corner, uh, these are all albums. I don't have like a shelf for storing my like completed albums. These are all really old 12 by 12 scrapbooks um, and photo albums in that. So they just live there for now. My large format photo printer, it's an Epson stylus uh, photo 1400 is the model. They don't make this one anymore. It's been replaced with something else. Um, I've I've had this for a long time. It still works really great. So, and then these are those drawers from Ikea. Um, <laughs> can't think of the name of them. It's totally escaping me, but they're amazing and I love them. Uh, and I wish I had a room full of them. So in here, I've got all of my, the top two drawers are paper punches, mostly Stampin' Up, some Martha Stewart and some other randoms, um, more punches. Then this drawer is all of my distress ink and like um, blending tools. This is my like mixed media mat, uh, water pens, perfect pearls, like just some mixed media stuff in here, but mostly distress inks. Down here I've got, this is just random paper if I'm doing like test prints and things like that. Um, this is my six hole punch um, that Allie Edwards recommends. I've got one of those. This is a, uh, what is this thing called? Misty. <laughs> I, again, I bought this like right before I sort of stopped stamping, um, card making. And so I have it, but I haven't really used it a ton. And then this is the case for my acrylic blocks for my stamps. And then in here, this is a cutlery tra cutlery tray that I bought on Amazon, I believe. And this holds all my like I would use this mostly for card making probably, but like buttons and everything's just color sorted. Some random wood veneer and sequins and things like that. Random bits and bobs. And then this is all my printer stuff. So paper, ink, yeah. 
test prints. Most of the test prints have notes on them so that I can go back to them. And then over here I've got a Roscog card from Ikea. This is one that I bought this year. I bought a second one. I'll show you my first one in a minute. But this sits right next to my desk on my right side. And so in here I've just got like random pictures, projects that I haven't put away yet. There's some uh, six by six paper back here, templates for different things. I don't know what this is in here. Um, and then I've got an open case here for um, all my smaller page protectors. So these are all the three by eight page protectors. So you can see they're divided out into three by four, three by six, full three by eight. Same thing with my six by eight page protectors. They're separated. These are just cardstock like dividers. Um, the two by two pockets, like this guy it has all the two by twos on it. Um, three by four, four by six, six by eight. Then like I have a whole pile of simple stories. These are um, these are random templates for the different kinds of like interactive pieces that I've made. These are my color swatches. So this is all my Stampin' Up ink pads and Distress ink. I also have Stampin' Up like paper samples. They're like sandwiched in between here. But these are those ticket holders that hold my cardstock, my eight and a half by eleven cardstock. And then you just cut this off and use it. As it is. Um, but I've got these in here because I often need to like color match with my inks and things. These are all Becky Higgins Design A page protectors for Project Life. Um, I need to stock up on those. These are 9x12s. These are Beautiful Mess um, brand that I haven't used yet. They're going with that 9x12 album. And then this is Becky Higgins. This is a, another Cropper Hopper piece here. It's like a divided carrying case. And so you can see these are different um, Becky Higgins page protectors that are like the different designs. And so I just made these. These are cardstock. And so I just cut them down to slide into the tabs and then drew a little sketch of what the thing is on there because I would never remember what those letters all are. Um, so that works really well. And that's just all right at my fingertips. I've got a little cart here that keeps some of my like this is stamp cleaner, a spray bottle, water spray bottle. This is my embossing powder, or embossing, like, um, it's powder to, like, prep for heat embossing. Uh, stays on cleaner, glossy accents. This is a dragon box from my, um, Ikea from the bathroom section. These are some random things that haven't been done anything with yet. <laughs> All right. Uh, an old container that just holds my like crafty paintbrushes in it that I want to have on hand. This is all scrap paper. Um, so if I need a little slip of something, either for test stamping or like test printing, I can pull little bits out and do that. Bigger bits of paper. Alphabet stamps mostly live down here. Um, so this is just an embossing or embroidery case that I've organized by letter. So it's got like two or three different kinds of like small alphabet stamps in it, but all the A's and B's are together, all the C's and D's, etc. Then I've got a little tray of like, this is a Stampin' Up! set that I've had forever um, that has all the letters and numbers, and so I just have those loose in a bowl. And then this is um, these really old, really, really old Hero Arts um, alphabet stamps. And then a Stampin' Up! set that's like little words um, all in like a typewriter font and the months. So that's great for like Project Life or, or scrapbooking in general. I've got my Allie Edwards tube paints here. These are some um, envelopes that um, just are holding other like baggies and things that like I might want to use in a project for something. But these are envelopes from like, uh, these are Week in the Life. Uh, this is what the Week in the Life kit comes in. This bin here is an old bin from Target. Um, I've got some Allie Edwards die, die cuts in here. Again, some of the, like, this is an autumn, summer. So I kind of, like, was playing around with, like, the envelopes. These are old story kit envelopes. Going back and forth between, like, that and the, um, the 4x6 iris cases that you saw earlier. But then some of these are just, like, 
alphabets. Um, chipboard alphas mostly. Those these are old Heidi Swap Ghost alphas. Love those still. Die cut letters, more die cut numbers, gold letters, giant letters, um, chipboard alphas. This is Ali Edwards. So. And then I keep like old packaging and stuff like that because I like to store things. All right, so next we will tackle the desk. So this is kind of an overview of what my desk looks like. It is an old, old, old Ikea desk. I still remember the first time I saw it in the catalog. I don't remember what it's called. They do not make it anymore. I know that. Um, and it has these drawers in it, which are fantastic. Um, some of them are full length, so they go all the way to the back. And then these guys in the front here are shorties um, because this thing opens, this actually opens up. You can lift this um, and you could like store stuff down inside there. Um, yeah, so I've got a fuse mat. My fuse tool lives over here off the side. This is an old Pampered Chef uh, kitchen caddy that I've had forever and converted it into a tool caddy. So this is like my most mm, fingertip, like things that I want at my fingertips. Some hole punches, my crop dial, different kinds of scissors, bone folder, my tiny attacher, white out, an eraser. These are all like paper piercers and the fuse roller thing, tweezers, pens and pencils. Um, and then I've got some like watercolor stuff back here and more tools. This is a, this is a, a piece from, um, holds all of my Stampin' Up! inks and then all of the markers that coordinate with them. This is a card tray. So like as you're working, obviously pencil sharpener, heat gun, that's part of my fuse tool. And then I've got a desk lamp up here. I like it high so that it covers more of my desk. Keep my iPad plugged in here. This is usually where my laptop sits. This connects to my printer. This is not wireless. It's that old. It's not, doesn't even have wireless as a feature. And then I've got my Allie Edwards ink stored here. They're in two piles because this is stuff I'm using for my Week in the Life album that I'm still working on. And these are colors that are just part of the collection. And then I've got stamped out a little like swatch page there. Um, and then I get into like kit territory. So it's kind of a mess. I need to redo this. <laughs> this is my phone stand. But then this is all Ellie Studio stuff. So these are mostly puppy stickers and then like alpha stickers and then uh, Ellie Studio stamps all together in this bin from Ikea. These are more recent um, Ellie Edwards story kits and stories by the month kits that I have not yet used. These are all of my, like, what I consider to be scrappy stamps. So these are all of my story stamps from Allie Edwards. Boop, boop, boop. Some, like, travel things, travel stamps, others, Allie Edwards stamps. These are some older Ellie Studio stamps. These are Project Life stamps from a collaboration that Becky Higgins did with uh, Stampin' Up! So I have those that my mom got for me. And then some Felicity Janes from the few kits that I got from them. Then I have this dragon box. I love these little wooden boxes. You can find them in the bathroom section at Ikea if you don't know about them. They're kind of great. Um, and they're perfect for so many things for pocket scrapbooking and storage in your scrap room. But these are all my like little stamps. So these are all like three by four size stamps. And they're a mix of brands, so like Allie Edwards, Ellie Studio. The Stories by the Month stamps also are 3 by 4 so they all fit in here, and that's what all most of what this box is. A dragon box back here with more 6 by 6 paper pads in it from Ellie Studio. And then these are Story Kits and Stories by the Month Kits from Allie Edwards. And then these are like works in progress. So um, 2018 is pretty much done, I just need to like photograph and video it. Um, this is an album I'm going back and doing Project Life for, um, 2015 and 2016 are kind of split in here right now until they build up my Day in the Life album for this year, which I haven't done anything with yet, and my current 2019 Project Life album, 12 by 12. So that's on top of my desk, and honestly, it's a little bit much, um, especially once I have my computer here, which is just a, an, a laptop. Um, but then I usually also have a bunch of stuff here for like 
my kit box that I'm working on or materials like extra scrap, whatever. Um, so I want to redo this. This is a big overhaul section. All right, in this drawer, this is a big drawer because this is one that goes all the way mostly back. Um, these are containers from like, I don't know, you can get them anywhere. Like I think I got these at Target or Bed Bath & Beyond or something, but they're like for the kitchen. Um, so I got these. This holds a lot of my like little paper bits. So this is all labels. This is all like phrase and saying things with type on them. This is like tags and other like big pieces. If you remember last year, I did some like cutting down of Project Life cards. So that's what some of these bits are. That's what all of this is. These are like punched cards from like the Midnight Kit or the Everyday Kit. Um, these are all three by, uh, sorry, two by three cards. So like there's story cards in here and then others that I have cut down. These are some from like LA Studio for that size. Um, these are paper hearts from a story, uh, story kit at some point. These are like bigger labels and circles, all circle stuff and bigger labels. And then this is like shaped die cuts. So like hexagons and like all of my circle stuff. Um, but I like having that right at my fingertips. This drawer here is embossing supplies and other randomness. Um, some perfect pearls, glitter is all stored in here. Like my jar stuff is all in here. Uh, back stamp for my cards my personalized back stamp for my cards. These are like some gel pens and Versamark pens and specialty pens, just some random, mostly uh, card making stuff. This is my, at my fingertips, uh, adhesives drawer and my rollers. Um, Tombow tape runner. This is post-it tape. Uh, regular scotch tape, double-sided tape, stapler, or staples, <laughs> both for my tiny attacher and regular size, regular stapler. This is like my red line tape and um, painter's tape, glue dots, random like glue pens and wet glues. Then I've got one just for stamping. So this is my stamp cleaner pad, from my stamp and scrub from Stampin' Up. My acrylic blocks, I just leave them in here. And then um, like my my go-to inks, especially for scrapbooking. Um, stays on Ranger Archival Ink, Versamark. These are some other like specialty, different colors of stays on, different color archival inks. Um, oh, that's a Stampin' Up! color swatch card deck thing back there. But again, really nice to have this right at my fingertips. And then the last drawer is like office supplies. So my the pens in here, um, scrappy pens that I use in journaling, and then like post-it notes and post-it pads, things like that. So that's my desk. And then underneath my desk, I've got this big three drawer cart and I took it off the wheels because it wouldn't fit under my desk otherwise. But up here is where I store my paper trimmer, my small paper trimmer. And then this is all ribbon and string. This is all. This is such a great idea. <laughs> I'm sure I am definitely not the first. I know I'm not the first one that thought of this. I got this idea from Jennifer McGuire, actually. But um, what I did is I cut down, I need to refill this one. I cut down some of my most used papers um, and put like the sizes on there. So like this is all like three by four and four by six are obviously for pocket pages. But then like my Ranger tags, craft tags are all in here. This is watercolor paper that I cut down, or sorry, um, card size, card front paper that I cut down. I told you I haven't been making them very many cards. Um, watercolor paper. This is Bristol smooth paper. So again, more like stamping kind of specialty papers back here. And then this is long paper cut to like a top fold card. Um, some like piercing mats and cutting mats and stuff back here. An embossing tray that I don't really use anymore because I switched to coffee filters. And these are like tags from, I did a Tim Holtz creative class from uh, online card classes. And these are like the sample techniques. And then on the back, it has like a description of how to do the technique. So that was a product of that class. So I like to keep those handy for when I'm doing that kind of stuff. And then these are just like samples of all of that. 
this bottom drawer has just a lot of random stuff in it. Alcohol to clean my mat and my table when I get messy with inks. Uh, coffee filters for embossing, random labels, a hard drive, extra pencils, <laughs> white out. These are like cut down page protectors from different projects that I could use with my fuse tool. Um, baby wipes. This is a big, huge roll of uh, adhesive, extra things for my trimmer. Big old roll of double-sided tape, or uh, foam tape. And then the wheels for the container. These two kits here that were sitting right in front of there, so conveniently on the floor, <laughs> are my um, DIY Week in the Life kit for this year. And this is actually my travel, <laughs> uh, my travel collection which obviously has yet to be used. So um, there's that. <laughs> I haven't been doing as much scrapbooking and crafting as I would like to be, but I feel like that's changing. So that's sort of the desk area. And then I've got another Rascog. This is my original Rascog. Pretty, pretty blue one. That not so much. And this is like my main scrappy station. So this sort of lives right here when I'm not using it next to my desk. But then when I'm sitting here, I can just pull it out and it can be right at my fingertips. So let's talk about what's in here. So everything is organized mostly by Ikea stuff. Um, so these are dragon boxes, two different sizes. This is all of my four by six cards for um, tags that I've cut down from other like four by six cards kits that I'm not using anymore. Story kit cards, stories by the month, other Allie Edwards, LA Studio, and then just like random stuff. Back here in the back, I've got some fun papers and things that I'd like to do with. These are three by eight pages and pads to work with. This is a really old Creative Memories um, title Topia, but it has a great thing in here for lining up stickers. <laughs> So you like line your stickers up on here and this paper is like waxy so they don't stick to it and then they just are straight when you put them on your layout. It's brilliant, but I've literally had it for like 20 years. Oh, I don't even know if I make it anymore. More three by eight stuff. These are all of my Avery index tabs. I've got two different sizes. Just keep them in that little cup. These are all three by four cards and tags. So tags that I've cut down or that have come as part of kits. Story Kits, Stories by the Month, other Ellie Edwards. This is all Ellie Studio, Felicity Jane. Things that came from like Day in the Life or Week in the Life kits. Some 3x3 three three cards. And then miscellaneous. This thing over here is a box from Ikea. And it holds all of my, it has a lot of my stickers. So this is all chipboard. Mostly Ellie Edwards. Um, some Ellie Studio. So chipboard stickers. These are all puffy stickers different brands, puppy stickers, and then paper stickers. So like word phrase stickers and um, alpha stickers and things like that. On the front, I have Velcro dots. So you can see close. It's got a Velcro dot on it and then a Velcro dot on the thing to keep all of my roller stamps. And that works really well. And I like just having them there rather than like having to dig through something to get them. This is some other small embellishments. This is my day in the life kit. I told you I haven't done anything with it yet. Some like transparency dividers that came in a kit. Um, these are like the lids for the dragon boxes, but they also work great as storage. So this is all rubber pieces. These are, um, like transparent, I forget what they call these. Um, not acrylic, but yeah, I don't know. These little guys. <laughs> and then um, this is all acrylic pieces and cork, some cork in there. And this is all Felicity Jane stuff that comes in this kit. So I keep that all together. And then down here is some um, uh, kits. <laughs> this is work for my uh, Ellie Studio design team stuff. Uh, let me keep that down there or it lives on my desk. <laughs> One more thing that's in here. These albums here are all things that need to be photographed and video walkthrough um, previous years. Um, 
2017 and 2018 Project Life, and then two Week in the Life albums that I've just been using for reference as I've been working on that project. So that is my current uh, craft room tour and setup. Um, I talked as we were going through about a few different things that I want to change around. Mostly I want a better computer workstation, um, my desk to be a little bit more cleared off to have more workspace there, um, and just reorganize. You know, it's really good to just kind of get in here. Organizing is my most favorite thing to do. Um, and so this is a place where it needs it and I'm ready to do it. Uh, and so, um, yeah, I hope that that was helpful. Um, I can't wait to share what it looks like next <laughs> um, and what the next iteration of the craft room will be. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, happy scrapping. <laughs>